In modern society, there is a lot of chicken soup for the soul, encouraging people to be positive, as if people can attract and get good results only by hard work, self-discipline and positiveness. Many people are confused by these seemingly correct concepts and it leads to some weird situations just like. People think an introvert should be an extrovert, a skinny guy should get fit and become a muscular man. The list goes on and on. In fact, this kind of concept may make people go against their own nature. Once people fail to achieve their goals or even other people's expectations, they will suffer from internal friction, self-blame, and depression, and people will lose their wisdom, feel painful to live, and cannot understand what the real Tao is forever. The core idea of Taoism is, Tao, which holds that, Tao, is the origin of the universe and the law of all movements in the universe. Generally speaking, it is generally accepted that the first person to establish Taoism was Lao Tzu in the spring and autumn period of China. Lao Tzu exposed the essence of Tao in his book, Lao Tzu, and the Tao theory was founded about 2,500 years ago. One of the core tenets of Tao is Wu Wei, which means, doing nothing. The so-called Tao is always doing nothing, so there is no more inaction. It means that if you can do nothing, you can make a difference in anything. Sounds contradictory, right? Doing nothing sounds like waiting for death and accomplishing nothing. But actually not. The key of doing nothing is, let it be what it is. Lao Tzu said, man takes his law from the earth, the earth takes its law from heaven, heaven takes its law from Tao. And Tao takes its law from being what it is. Means to say. Man follows the rules of the earth. The earth follows the rules of heaven. Heaven follows the rules of Tao. Tao follows the rules of nature, which means, naturally follow the way things are, that is, doing nothing. There is a famous Chinese idiom story, to pull up the seedlings to help them grow. It said, a farmer dashed into the field and tried to help the shoots grow by pulling them up, but all the shoots died. Why? Because he was against Tao. It's like one day you read an article on chicken soup for the soul, watched a YouTube video, or listened to a speech, and you were suddenly inspired, you believed that as long as you worked hard and persevered, you would be reborn, and you vowed to force yourself to work hard, read books for two hours a day, make a diet plan, try to restrain yourself from eating midnight snack, quit smoking and drinking, quit mobile phones and make a great plan about how much money you must make this year. What is the ending? The goals of fitness, dieting, reading, and making money have not been achieved, and you have fallen into annoyance. In fact, anything against the way things are will always cause you unexpected troubles. Lao Tzu said, The world is a divine realm, and cannot be got by active doing, it cannot be interfered in. Anyone who interferes in it will fail and whoever tries to keep it will lose it. Therefore, the sage does nothing, but he always gets success, and he has nothing to lose. This means that All things in the world are sacred. You yourself are sacred, all the air, stones, vegetation, objects, relatives, friends, etc. are sacred because all things in the world are incarnated by the most sacred Tao. Therefore, you can't force anyone or anything. You must never be attached to your own selfishness but follow the Tao. Insisting on going against Tao's original will and nature will result in failure and loss. To put it simply, as long as you do things forcibly against the Tao, you will definitely lose. If you go against your own nature and force yourself to change, work hard, and discipline yourself, once you fail to succeed, you might fall into depression, anxiety, self-blame, and suppressed emotions. 
You may be thinking, why can others do it, but I can't do it myself. This creates a vicious cycle that keeps you mentally inflicted, even for the rest of your life. So you must naturally follow the way of Tao in your own nature, not the other way around. Case in point, we've all heard basketball superstar Kobe always woke up at 4 a.m. to train. On the surface, Kobe was so hardworking and self-disciplined. In fact, Kobe just followed his Tao, that is, his love for basketball, and it came naturally. That's why he reached the height the others could not ever reach. In addition, the team behind him had already set a scientific sleep time for him. He was already full of sleep in other time periods, and the routine of getting up at 4 a.m. every day can keep him in a better state. Some people want to imitate Kobe, but they don't understand the Tao, so they persisted for a while and then gave up. The point is, how to achieve Wu Wei, which means, doing nothing. Wu Wei, is an abstract concept, but Lao Tzu used the most common and indispensable, water, in our life as a metaphor. In fact, water, is the closest to, Tao, in the world. If you can understand the secrets of water, then nothing is impossible for you. What is the secret of water? Water has at least the following characteristics. 1. Nothing in the world is softer and weaker than water, but even the most powerful and hardest weapons can't beat water. There is nothing that can take precedence over it. 2. Water moves with time. It follows the four seasons. It goes round and begins again. In winter, when mountains and rivers freeze, the water flows under the ice, in spring, the water begins to flow after the ice melting, in summer, the water is plentiful and rushing, in autumn, hundreds of rivers flow into the sea and then flow out again, and their size completely matches the changes of seasons. 3. Water has no fixed shape and will change its shape with the terrain. When water encounters a square, it becomes a square, and when it encounters a circle, it becomes a circle. Its turbidity and speed are fully compatible with changes in the environment. 4. Water always flows down, and contains everything, even if it encounters dirt, it does nothing. These characteristics have something in common with what Lao Tzu said about Tao and nature, so Lao Tzu often uses them to explain the Tao. He said, the highest excellence is like water. The excellence of water appears in its benefiting all things, and in its occupying, without striving, the low place which all men dislike. Hence its way is near to the Tao. There is an old saying, man struggles upwards, water flows downwards. Most people want more status, wealth and honor. But water is the exact opposite. Water supplies all things in the world, but it flows to the lowest abyss and remains in the deep sea. This characteristic of water flowing to a low place is the closest to Tao. People should flow down like water. Don't be like mortals who only want to go high, going with the flow can lead to great success. The other question is, how can people be like water? Lao Tzu said the keyword, no striving. When people with the highest excellence do not strive, they can never make mistakes. But what does, no striving, exactly mean? It's simple, just not obsessed with taking everything for yourself. All things in the world are born of Tao, they are all sacred, and they do not belong to anyone. As long as you want to own it, you will lose. Is your money yours? No. It's just for you temporarily. Is your body yours? No, your body will die eventually. Is your lover or spouse yours? No, it's temporarily arranged. You can never truly own anything on your own. 
As long as you want to own it, you will lose, and there will always be unexpected troubles. Once upon a time, there was a sharpshooter called Ho E. His every shot always hits the target and never missed. One day, the king asked Ho E to shoot a target and promised to reward him with a lot of gold if he makes it. The strange thing is that the sharpshooter missed a shot at this time, and he still missed it when he shot again. How could this happen? Because he has been tempted by external things to take what is not his, contrary to the Tao. That's why Lao Tzu said, no striving. Do nothing, no striving, go with the flow. You and everything around you is Tao. As long as you conform to Tao, Tao will let you have what you should have. Don't do the opposite, or the wealth will be less, the body will die, and the lover will leave. Lao Tzu believes that rulers or managers should also follow Tao and practice Wu Wei. The best rulers don't issue orders but keep the people in a state of ease. The people do not need to be managed by emperors and generals, they can manage themselves and live in peace and contentment. Do you agree with this kind of idea? I hope you can let things take their own course and discard all desires and worries from your mind. If you like Asian classical stories or want to know more about Asian culture, please don't forget to subscribe for more new stories.